I have so many books, so many books and not enough time. You should see the pile of books on my bedside table. It's stacked and it's big and thick. Hi, my witchy bumblebees, it's Ethany, and I have been practicing the craft of the witch since I was 15 years old. And I wanted to share with you some of my favorite books for the beginner witch. So I'm gonna be sharing with you 11 books that are more 101 or baby witch friendly. I have got hundreds of books on the craft and on tarot that I've collected over the years. And this is not a complete list. This is just books that I have in my library that I would recommend to the beginner witch or hashtag baby witch. They are in no particular order and they are all fantastic. So let's jump on in. The first book on my list is Witchcraft, A Beginner's Guide by Teresa Moray. Now I found this book in, I believe, a shop called The Witch's Circle in Perth, Western Australia, which is sadly no longer around, but I actually gave this book away and then I repurchased it online. What I love about this book is it is actually represented in a question and answer format, which means if you have a question about any specific aspect of the craft, you're probably gonna find a really good succinct answer in this book. It's also a wonderful book to give to people in your life who may not understand the craft. So if you have a concerned family member or friend, giving this very slim, very easy to understand read to them may help them be a little bit more informed and understand the craft a lot better. My second recommendation is The Inner Temple of Witchcraft by Christopher Penzak. Now Christopher Penzak has an entire series. This is the first one, so I recommend you start here. These are excellent books. They are in lesson format. There are plenty of exercises as well as theory. I love that there is a timeline of modern witchcraft. There is a lot of really good information and this really does set you up for some excellent foundations for ritual and magic work. I love all of Christopher's books. They have been revised. This is a, I don't know, it's probably like eight years old or something like that, but they are excellent. You can also get the CD meditations as well. You can purchase them from his website. So you don't have to remember all the exercises yourself and then you can actually do them while he leads you through the exercises. What I love about the book and all of his series is that you will actually be asked to reflect and do the work as it is a living, working workbook. The third book is another book by Christopher Penzak and it is The Witch's Shield and it will help you get a great foundation for energetic, psychic protection and also just a lot about uh, protection magic. Now this actually comes with a CD at the back so you have all the exercises that you can do with him. It's very important and I say this to all of the members in my coven and everyone I come across when it comes to what are some of the advice that you have for baby witches, do your meditation, do your breath work, learn how to visualize and if you can't visualize at least feel the energy. It's going to help you through absolutely everything else you're going to do. It's a key foundation. This is a brilliant book that puts into a very witchcraft mind a lot of psychic protection and it's easy to digest. The fourth book I believe should be on every baby witch's reading list and it is Wicca by Scott Cunningham. It is an absolute classic and for a good reason. Now I could have also put Uncle Bucky's Big Blue Book of Witchcraft on here but I actually prefer Wicca by Scott Cunningham. This is a wonderful book. It has a lot of information at the front and then there are a bunch of correspondences in the back including like herbal correspondences, colors, crystals, alter like layouts and things like that and also spells. This is a wonderful basic Wicca 101 book and also a lot of the information in here can actually be transferred into witchcraft of any different denomination. It's a classic for a reason. The fifth book is The Modern Witchcraft Guide to the Wheel of the Year by Judy Ann Nock. Now this is Northern Hemispheric so I recommend you get a different book if you were in the Southern Hemisphere as this also goes through a lot of celestial sort of what's happening in the sky and that doesn't make much sense because constellations in the southern hemisphere are different than the northern hemisphere but this is a great book for northern hemisphere what you can do if you are in the southern hemisphere is use a lot of the information to inspire your sabbats this goes through all the different sabbats the whole wheel of the year and will give you a lot to chew on and a lot of inspiration for your own craft my recommendation for those of you who are in Australia or the Southern Hemisphere is Dancing the Sacred Wheel 
by Francis Billinghurt. Yeah, honestly, if you wanted me to see your bedroom or you need to be like, like, wanna come and have a look on my bookshelf? Wanna see the pile of books by my bed? That is one of the things I do. I like snoop on people's bookshelves. I, I can't be alone in that. Tell me if you do that too. Like you go and have a look at what people have on their bookshelves. I think it tells you a lot about them, like what they have. And especially like which ones are really well read. You can learn a lot about somebody. Snoop on people's bookshelves. My sixth recommendation is a Traditional Wicca by Thorn Mooney. She actually has another book out too. So I recommend you go and grab that one after you read Traditional Wicca. What I love about this book is it's new, it's modern, and Thorn is a brilliant new voice in the witchcraft world and in the Wicca world that has got a really important voice. Now, what I also really enjoy about this book is a lot is talked about in regards to like, what does it mean for new people coming to the craft about lineage and, you know, or your heritage and coven work and a lot of information that's not necessarily covered in a lot of 101 books. If you pair this up with something like Scott Cunningham's Wicca for the Solitary Practitioner, you're getting a really well-rounded practice from a classic and then also a new classic. My seventh book on the list is Philosophy of Wicca by Amber Lane Fisher. This is a wonderful book for diving in deeper when it comes to the different theologies, philosophies and points of view of Wicca. You're going to be asked to actually think about how you fit into all of this. I always recommend critical thinking and also how you fit into modern Wicca and what you want to take in regards to your beliefs and also what your ideas are going to be. It's a really deep, challenging read and not challenging in that it's hard to read. It's just really thought provoking. She covers sacred aspects of divinity, balance, nature, sexuality, sexual orientation and magic. There's a lot of really excellent points of view in this book. My eighth book is by an author that I love and I actually had on my advanced witchcraft books, Timothy Roderick, and this is Wicca A Year and a Day. There is also a second book in this series. What I love about this is it's actually gonna take you through an entire year and a day of practice. So you're going to have themes, so maybe like week one, you're going to be looking at one specific theme. And then there is a bite-sized piece of information for you to take in. There's a lot of exercises, there's a lot of good correspondences, you can build your grimoire, and it's just a really well done book. You also go through tarot, um, there's lots and lots of information on herbs, making inks, hours. There's honestly so much is covered in this. And for anyone who finds it difficult to sit down and read an entire book, this book is wonderful because you can literally have it somewhere where you've got five minutes to do a little bit of reading and deepen your knowledge every day. My ninth book is not specifically a witchcraft book, but I believe it's something every spiritual person or I think every person should read, whether you agree with this author or not. And it is The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Riez. And there is something to be said about The Four Agreements. And I'm gonna tell you what they are really quickly, but they are be impeccable with your word, don't take anything personally, don't make assumptions and always do your best. They are such powerful statements and ways of being and they will help you with your magic throughout your entire life. Being impeccable with your word, for example, which is the first agreement, it helps you have collateral in your energy when it comes to magic and spellcrafting. This is a wonderful foundation. You don't have to take everything on board, but it is certainly worth a read and I recommend every spiritual person at least reads this once and then makes up their own mind. But they're really good tenants to live by. The 10th book on this list, Women Who Run With Wolves by Clarissa Pinkola Estes. This is an exquisite book and I think Maya Angelou says it best. Anyone who can read should read this book. This is not specifically about witchcraft, but it is about finding the wildness in you. It is about unleashing and embracing your wild side, your pain, your bones, everything that has made you who you are by embracing your heritage, whether that's known or unknown, embracing the strong parts, the weak parts, vulnerable parts of you. It is a treasury of mythology and poem and prose and stories. And it really is just an exquisite book. I can't recommend this enough. And number 12 is Astrology for Real Life by Teresa Reid. 
Everyone should have a basic understanding of astrology, how it works, what it means for your life and doing some basic like housework and what your chart means. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. You may disagree with me, but I think astrology is very important to understand how it works with your magic and also in your own personality and your own life. And if I was going to have anyone teach me astrology, there are two people, but Teresa Reed is one of them. She also has excellent books on tarot as well. And it's a very well-respected, very well-renowned, knowledgeable, amazing author herself. It's really easy to read. It's real life and practical. And I recommend that you get it. Spank me books. <laughs> Are you a more experienced witch and you want to see my recommendations for the more advanced witch mystic magician check out this video here where i go through my list thank you so much for watching and make sure you let me know some of your favorite books that are for the beginner witch and i'll see you all next time